everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Esley from Inky in the Brain and today I have a 2019 Erin Condren Life Planner here to show y'all. This is a neutral vertical life planner. This is the only one that I picked up. Um, I did, uh, you know, I've actually never owned a horizontal. I did look at the hourly. I'm sure y'all have seen like peaks of that but they really didn't make any changes or very many changes to either this layout or the the hourly. Um, I do typically use an hourly as like my pre-planner, um, but I've I didn't. I'm not gonna be purchasing the at least for now. <laughs> never say never, right? Um, but uh, for now, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing the Erin Condren. All they did there was like make the lines a little bit more bold, um, separating the hourly sections, which kind of like irked me. Like I, I didn't understand the point of that. And honestly, like to be really really honest, I don't understand any of like the slight changes that they made in this planner. It seems. Like, honestly, it just seems like the exact same planner, um, which is a little disappointing because I, I am used to seeing, like, at least a few, you know, like, bigger differences. So it's, like, it's always fun to, like, see what they're going to come up with or what they're going to do. Um, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and flip through this. Um, this cover I am super excited about. This cover is gorgeous. As you can see, it's gold foil. I apologize for the reflection of my, like, giant light, but um, I want to show you all, like, this gorgeous foiling. Um, it's the same in the back. It's not personalized. This was not one that like allowed for personalization. They just said that they just had these there. Um, I do have, I think I got four other covers and as well as like some sticker sheets and they gave out some freebies and I'll show you y'all those in a moment but I know y'all are here to see this so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and flip through this so I do have my 2018 planner which I have here in the gold coil um, this is the one I'm currently using just to show y'all like kind of reference of what's different but we'll get to that in a second now here is the first page pretty standard you always kind of get the same type of layout you always get the piece of vellum um, I, it feels a little bit thicker to me, so it does feel really, really nice. I don't know if it is any different than last year's, honestly, but it feels a little bit different. It doesn't really make a difference, though. I, like, almost never flip to this part of the planner. Um, so, yeah. Um, then you have this page, which I do think this is so gorgeous. I love, like, the color in this. I love how, like pretty and vibrant but it's also like kind of like watercolory. Um, I love this font, I love this quote, like I think this is so gorgeous. Again, it doesn't make like a huge impact because I don't I don't flip to these pages, like hardly ever. It's almost never really that I like flip to these. Um, then you have this page here which is kind of like your at a glance. It gives you July 2018 all the way through December 2019. I love the font. I love that it's super simple. I do sometimes use this. Like I've used this in previous planners but I actually have not used it in this um, like this current year's planner. Let me flip to it. So here is like the you have your you know same pages here basically and so these are the differences here really all they did was take like the little bar out and just have the the dates kind of like floating there so again it's completely I, I don't I don't get it <laughs> like I don't I feel like it, in this okay like I don't want to be mean because I love Erin Condren y'all know I love my planners um, I've been in an Erin Condren since 2013 but these changes have felt the most, um, like, uh, I can't even think of the right word. These changes have felt almost useless, like just making a change to make a change and not because it was well thought out or, you know, anything like that. Um, there is one good change, and I'll show you all that in, in just a second. It's coming up here. Um, next, you have the, um, you know, like your 12 blocks here. The same, again, kind of layout here from before. Nothing, I mean, aside, of course, from like the different pattern, different quote. Um, as far as like functionality and what has been put in the planner is exactly the same. Then you have your um, only, one like really good change because I know that there were a lot of people that hated like those four circles that were here. I actually just recently found a way to use them that I was really, really enjoying. And of course, they take them out. Um, but I can totally get why this is so much better. 
I love using this page for like kind of journaling. So this this is really great. I actually do love that they just went ahead and put lines all the way top to bottom. They just have the little flag here even before, um, what was it, like the 2017 one? there was like a big colorful bar here and I know a lot of people didn't like that because the color like went into the to the coil so you couldn't like completely block it out and things like that so this is great it's super simple um, you know and you can totally customize it to whatever you want which I do like I do love these pages um, I like um, I just really like the creative aspect of this planner like I think the quotes are beautiful and you know I really do enjoy these um, it, I think they're calling it woven wonder a lot more than say the painted petals from from this current year's planner so there's that then you move on to your um, monthly pages and uh, there is this difference here which I actually do like I do like being able to see this at a glance instead of just having to like flip I mean not that flipping is that big of a deal but um, it is nice to have it here available um, and then the only other change is that they made the asterisk inside their little logo or like their little you know their their emblem logo whatever it is um, they made it black so I again that just goes into the make a change for change sake instead of like having something well thought out again that's my personal opinion um, next you have your weekly layout and as you can see these are exactly the same um, nothing is different box sizes look to be the same um, everything like the little dots um, you know how they're not like lines anymore they made these little dots since last year everything is exactly the same I'm gonna go ahead and zoom y'all in to this part of the planner here so that you can see a little bit closer so there you have you know your um, let me actually go back in this planner to the right or like to the same page all right, there we go. So um, so that you can just see exactly the same page. So as you can see, literally the only difference is the black asterisk, which I, <laughs> I've already said my piece about that. Um, you still have like the little kind of bold, um, whenever it changes into the month, the bold July or you know whatever month it's gonna be. Um, same font, absolutely. I mean, they're literally identical aside from the black asterisk which uh whatever <laughs> all right moving on i'm not going to go through every month obviously but i will kind of give you a peek here of the little like quotes um just really quickly they are i do really like them i think it's pretty and i think that um like the little kind of watercolor effect is is really nice so i'll just go through like a few of them here so that you can see them um as you can see there is their little like Erin Condren logo on every page. I don't think that's something that was there. Oh, it is there last year. I guess I just never noticed it. Um, doesn't bother me. I don't really, like I said, it's not like a make or break kind of thing for me. All right, um, I did get this in an 18 month. I wanted to see if the coil would be wider. So I do want to compare that part here um, because this one is a 12 month. And oh yeah, it does look actually no no it does it does look bigger so I was thinking maybe I don't know if it's like a weird angle for y'all so I got the 18 month even though I'm not I, I don't think I'm gonna be switching into this one right away but I got the 18 month because I wanted the coil to see if the coil would be a little bit wider that way the planner doesn't like bulk up quite as much you know with all the stickers in it so that's why I decided to do that and I'm glad because it does have the um, the coil t is a little bit wider so you get here to the back I do appreciate that they gave these extra pages I know in planners past you know the the year ends and then they just like cut you off and they don't they didn't I think that was not this like last planner but the one before where they didn't give you the rest of the week and you were like oh, like left kind of half planning a week so I do really appreciate that they included the full week even though this would technically be 2020 which by the way doesn't that sound ridiculous to y'all 2020 like what um <laughs> yeah um then you have a couple of notes pages here this is something I wish they would um, change. They used, I feel like they used to come with a lot more just like regular line pages and I enjoyed being able to like 
make certain things in here like before I ever had like a bullet journal or got into that um, this was kind of like a makeshift bullet journal like I would make my own um, kind of you know uh, idea pages here and such um, so you get a few dot grid which is nice because you can still kind of do the same thing I don't I have no issues with that um, and then they kept the coloring pages for some reason uh, I don't I don't understand that either <laughs> because I feel like um, that was such a big complaint last year people saying like these are completely useless why are these in here so for them to not have listened to that like does irk me a little but it's fine you then have this um, page here which says let's keep in touch which um, just has a name option let me zoom you all back in um, just has name and then like two little asterisks um, I mean, it's fine. I don't know if I'll be using this. I have all of my information uh, stored on my phone. I don't have, I, I don't keep like a address book or anything, or an address book or anything. So I don't know if I'll use this or find a different way to use it. Maybe like put e people's email addresses or something instead of phone numbers. I don't know. I have no idea. Then this stayed basically the same as well. Looks exactly the same to me. Sorry, that's my phone. Let me actually... That's Etsy. Let me put that on mute for a second. Um, this is uh, the same, and this is actually something that I really like that was implemented. I think I think this was the first... Or this is the second time that this is in here. Um, and I really like it because it gives you the opportunity to be able to plan ahead and not have to, like, wait for another planner if you don't have it and such. I actually really, really love this. Then you have kind of another quote page here with some of their information um it doesn't have i don't have any issues with that and then you get a whole bunch of foiled stickers here and these are really cute i do like these honestly i haven't even used any of the ones that are in the current planner so i don't know if i mean i probably should i should like cut this page out and actually use them because they are really cute and they're foiled and you know they're not like the best cut stickers, but they're, I mean, at least these here, they're, they're pretty such. good. You do get three different foils here, um, so that's nice. And then this is really cute as well. I love this. I think this is like well thought out. You get some checklists, you get some boxes, you get these like cool, like kind of appointment type labels. You have some habit trackers, some flags. Like this is really cute. I really, really like these. And um, I didn't find any issues when I was like looking at this. This page is actually cut really well. And then this I really love also. It's like their little icons. Um, this is super, super adorable. I love these. I'm definitely going to be like trying to implement these somehow. And again, I was kind of looking at these and this this page looks like it's cut pretty well So I don't have any issues and they have like little packs of these and such so it's great to have Another good thing that I see here is that they don't just give you like the full row of one color like that They kind of put the two, you know, like two in here um, But you do only get one page of this whereas before you used to get um, You know you used to get two pages of these and um, less of these, or at some point, none of these. Um, but, you know, I like them. I don't use these very, very often. Honestly, I don't think I've used any labels, like Erin Connor labels, in probably over a year. So, it is what it is. <laughs> and then you have this um, pocket, which is gorgeous. It is really pretty. It is um, rose gold foiled and... I don't know. I I um I have I mean I have no complaints. It's fine. Um this pocket is really shallow. Um this is like almost useless. Uh I, I don't really ever store anything in these, so it doesn't it doesn't really affect me. And then you get another perpetual calendar. Uh I have so many of these. Like I don't even know what to do with them. Um but you get one every, you know, every year. But I think it is a new addition, especially if you're like new to Erin Condren, you know, you um this is really good to have. I remember when they used to have like a section in the planner that was a perpetual perpetual calendar and then, you know, as you switched planners, you had to keep writing everything over and over. So I thought whenever they added this, it was a great addition. So it is there and, you know, kind of is what it is. So that is the 28 or I'm sorry, 2019 uh neutral vertical life planner. I 
I love that it's basically the same, um, so I don't have to like learn a new planning style. I do like like some of the bigger changes they made, like the notes pages. I do really, really like that. I'm glad that they did away with those circles, even though I was kind of using them now. But you know, I know for like the greater good, people didn't want them. Um, I do wish that they would have done something a little bit more. You know, like I, my best friend and I were joking, like who was at the meeting saying like, oh, what should we change? Oh, let's just make the little asterisk black. You know, like it just change for change, the change of, the sake of changing something. It just, I don't know, it seemed completely like useless to me. Um, but I do want to show y'all some of the other goodies that I got, which, um, are super super cute they had like a clearance table so I was all over that um, let me show you all first I picked up some like of their sticker sheets these are great to use in your monthly if you want something super simple and I, again this is the same um, let me stop wiggling it so you won't get so much clear this is the same uh, pattern from the cover that y'all just saw and I just thought it was so pretty so I had to pick it up these are three dollars normally um, and these were these two were full price and then the other two that I have were actually on like the like discount table um, and then you have these uh, like the woven wonder uh, pattern which again I thought was really pretty I love how the colors in it so I picked that up and then I picked up this butterfly one I've been going through like a butterfly thing recently <laughs> like another another phase y'all um, and I just thought it was really cute and like I said this was on the 50% off so it was a dollar fifty I mean I couldn't say no, right? <laughs> and then you have um, this pattern as well, which is one of my favorite patterns. I have this in the cover, and it's just so gorgeous, so beautiful. So again, I picked this up for $1.50, and I did pick up some new covers as well. Um, these two are from, well, let me show you this one first because it's kind of hard. Um, this is a silver foil uh, with like a linen background. This was not customizable. This was in the 50% off table as well as this one for Valentine's Day. I thought it was super cute and I didn't pick it up, you know, like this past Valentine's. So I wanted to get it and um, this was like marked down like I said so it ended up being four dollars so I thought this was a really really good deal I was so excited I was just like all over that <laughs> and then I got um these two these are uh, at least newer to me patterns I know this is definitely new I don't know if I've seen this before I feel like I may have um this was originally in like a linen color in the background with some purple uh tulips but I just really like the contrast of these colors and I just really really loved how it looked and I got my it's my name and my middle name if y'all were wondering like what that says uh and then I have here the um this other cover I think this one is called oh joy and I just fell in love with it I love like there's kind of like daisies in here, but it's like super abstract and I just think it's gorgeous. Like these colors just like scream, you know, uh, summer to me. So super excited to have those. Those were not on sale. It was just the other, the first two that I showed y'all. And then as for freebies, they were giving out this sticker sheet to everyone with their purchase. Um, super cute, just like random little icons. I love this like little foil planner. Look how cute that looks, super adorable. Um, and just like random it is like a I don't know if it's if it's silver or like holographic foil it does look kind of hollow yeah I think it's picking up y'all can probably see that like some differences in color and then the last freebie was the tote um, in the woven wonder pattern this is one of those totes that came in the seasonal surprise box I do also have another one from like the grand opening of the Erin Condren store um, so I have three of these now and I know some people don't like have said they don't really like these I actually really really like them I there's they weigh basically nothing um, they you can either fold them nicely or just wad them up and then they come with like this little elastic here so you can kind of just like shove it in your bag and you know they're super cute now I don't know I don't know what the like what these retail for and I don't know if I would like 
buy one but considering I've gotten three like you know that have come either in the seasonal surprise or that they've been giving away like I love these so they're super handy so that is it you all thank you all so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed um, getting a sneak here into the Erin Condor and if you already ordered yours let me know which one you ordered please I would love to know um, and if you have not ordered um, let me know if you are going to be ordering because I would love to know that also um, but I will talk to y'all very very soon bye everyone Thank you.